Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on GSS2 mathematics. In today's class, we shall be looking at the basic operations on numbers in standard form. At the previous classes, I have explained to you how you can express whole numbers in standard form as well as how you can express decimal numbers in standard form. We also look at examples on how we can express numbers in standard form back to whole numbers and back to decimal numbers. So in today's class, we shall be looking at the basic operations on numbers in standard form. Having known how to express these numbers in standard form, what do you do with them? Because we said one of the reasons why we express numbers in standard form is to make it easier for us to manipulate these numbers. In standard form, we shall learn how to carry out the basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of numbers. So expressions involving standard notation can be evaluated. That implies that numbers in standard form can be multiplied, divided, added, and even subtracted. Example one, we are asked to evaluate the following, leaving your answers in standard form. So the first has to do with multiplication, that we are to multiply 2.51 times 10 raised to the power of 6 by 7.63 times 10 raised to the power of 10. So what you need to do in this case is this. This can be simplified to be bracket 2.51 times 7.63 times into bracket 10 raised to the power of 6 times 10 raised to the power of 5. And when you multiply 2.51 by 7.63, this is going to be 7.63 times 2.5. 5 times 3 is 15. You write down 5 and carry 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. You write down 1 and carry 3. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 plus 3 is 38. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. You write down 2 and carry 1. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So that this gives us 5, 6, 10, carry 1, 8, 9, and 1. We have three places of decimal. 1, 2, 3. So this is our decimal point. So this is going to be 19.065 times 10 raised to the power of, when the bases are equal, you add the powers. This is going to be 6 plus 5. And this is going to be 19.065 times 10 raised to the power of 11. Because when you multiply 10 raised to the power of 6 times 10 raised to the power of 5 is going to give you 10 raised to the power of 11. B, we are asked to divide 4.08 times 10 raised to the power of 8 by 3 times 10 raised to the power of 6. This can also be simplified as well as 4.08 divided by 3 times 10 raised to the power of minus 8 divided by 10 raised to the power of 6. All I did was to divide this by this and this by this. So that when you divide, this is going to be 3 into 4 is 1, remainder 1. You bring that 1 here and add the 0 to it, it becomes 10. 10 divided by 3 is 3, remainder 1. This becomes 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this is 1.36 times 10 raised to the power of 8 minus 8 divided by 10 raised to the power of 6 gives you 10 raised to the power of minus 8 minus 6. This is equal to 1.36 times 10 raised to the power of minus 14. When you are dealing with division, you subtract the powers. C, 
we have 9.6 times 10 raised to the power of 7 plus 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of 4. In this example, we are going to factorize out the powers of 10 that is common. And in 10 raised to the power of 7, we can get 10 raised to the power of 4. So 10 raised to the power of 4 is common. And when you express this in 10 raised to the power of 4, this becomes 9.6 times 10 raised to the power of 4 times 10 raised to the power of 3. Because when you add this to it, gives you 10 raised to the power of 7 plus 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of 4. Since 10 raised to the power of 4 is now common, I can then factorize it out. This now becomes 10 raised to the power of 4 into bracket 9.6 times 10 raised to the power of 3 plus 2.8. Because we are dealing with addition. So we can simplify this before adding 2.8 to it. This now gives us 9.6 times, this is a thousand. That becomes 96,000 plus 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of 4. I decided to take this to the other side. So, when you add this, you have 9,602.8 times 10 raised to the power of 4. But just like we said, this is not in standard form because 9,602.8 is greater than 10. So expressing it in standard form, I'm moving the decimal point 1, 2, 3 times. And this is equal to 9.6028 times 10 raised to the power of, I have moved it 3 times, 3 times 10 raised to the power of 4. And when you simplify this, it gives you 9.6028 times 10 raised to the power of 7. So this is what you will get. D, under subtraction, we are asked to subtract 2.9 times 10 raised to the power of 5 from 3.6, 3.9 times 10 raised to the power of 6. We we'll also do the same. Ensure that the powers of 10 are same so that you can factorize them out. So that when you express this in terms of 10 raised to the power of 5, it's going to be 3.9 times 10 raised to the power of 5 times 10 raised to the power of 1 minus 2.9 times 10 raised to the power of 5. So factorizing out 10 raised to the power of 5, this becomes 10 raised to the power of 5 into 3.9 times 10 minus 2.9. So simplifying this, you have 10 raised to the power of 5 into bracket. 3.9 times 10, it gives you 39. 39 minus 2.9. So this is equal to 39 minus 2.9 will give you 36.1. So this is 36.1 times 10 raised to the power of 5. And this is equal to, expressing this in standard form, you have 3.61 times 10 raised to the power of 1 times 10 raised to the power of 5, which is equal to 3.61 times 10 raised to the power of 1 plus 5, which is 10 raised to the power of 6. Kindly like our videos as you watch. While I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. I also recommend that you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now take more exercises on basic operations on standard form.